Okay, this is a video on how to create the world's smallest external hard drive. These are two external hard drives. This is a 500 gig. This one also is 500 gig. This is the smallest, thinnest hard drive in the world currently. It's only 5 millimeters thick. Wow. Made by Seagate. Uh, what you do is, a naked hard drive like this, you obviously cannot carry around inside your laptop bag because of possible electrostatic shock on the back of the controller board. Here is the controller board on a naked hard drive, which obviously you can shock it and destroy the hard drive. Here, what you have, if you don't have a laminating machine, what you can do is take tin foil and coat both sides of it with tape, just clear plastic tape to cover up the controller board. If you actually open up an external USB hard drive, this is actually what is on the back of the controller board to protect it from electrostatic shock. So, while obviously you still have to handle the hard drive from side to side and never top to bottom because you're squeezing the platters and the possible armature bar, once you coat the back of your hard drive with this double-sided tin foil, take tin foil, you coat both sides of it with just plain clear plastic tape, and you've got the world's thinnest hard drive. Now, as far as the SATA card and the USB cable, obviously the USB cable is of a specific size regardless of what you get. However, you can see the difference between this one, which is a quality anchor SATA bridge card connector for hooking to your hard drive or carrying around your laptop bag, but look how much smaller this one is. This was removed out of a standard USB uh, external hard drive. A lot thinner. This is about, what, five millimeters thick. This is easily almost three times the size. So, you want to carry several external hard drives in a really tight spot or you just want to pack one around in your shirt pocket vest without having to worry about packing around electrostatic sleeves which would protect your uh, laptop from getting shocked such as one of these that ships with a new uh, hard drive. You still will need to protect it obviously. All you have to do is do what a, a standard uh, external USB hard drive does and cover the back of your controller board with double-sided plastic tin foil. Just take a sheet of tin foil, plastic, coat, coat both sides in plastic, i.e. Uh, clear transparent tape, cut it to size, and then just tape it as need be. That way you can pack it with you, stick it in a little velcro sleeve, a little little fabric sleeve, stick it in your shirt pocket. Obviously you still can't be squeezing them top to bottom. You need to always be holding them on either side. Then if you uh, have one of these you can get off of eBay, a little SATA bridge card. They're usually about eight bucks. You need a bare naked one. I've basically done the same thing with this. I've coated the inside with plastic and I've covered it up with black duct tape, industrial duct tape. This is just a standard USB cable that comes directly off the SATA bridge card. So if you want the smallest external hard drive in the world, either for sticking in your notebook or packing in your shirt vest pocket, obviously not in your pocket of your pants and especially not your back pocket since these are fragile as far as pinching them top to bottom. This is the smallest external hard drive that you can make and you can make it for 11 bucks after purchasing your external hard drive. These are the smallest, this is the thinnest hard drive in the world currently. It's a 500 gigabyte Seagate ultra thin 5 millimeters. They're running $80 right now, which is kind of expensive because this one is also a 500 gigabyte to Hitachi. So you can get a 500 gigabyte right now for between $50 and $65 new, but these ultra, ultra thin ones are a little pricey right now, so they're still $15 and $20 more at $80 per. But after you purchase the hard drive, all you need to do is purchase your uh, $10 SATA bridge card. And, of course, two cents worth of tin foil coated in uh, clear, plastic, transparent, invisible tape on both sides. Obviously, the part that's touching the controller board needs to be coated so there is no transference of shock. So, that's it. That's the way you make the uh, world's thinnest external hard drive.